ladies and germs. Welcome back to Sandy Bay. I have no idea what is going on aside from my mode recently. Oh, I've got a uh, viewer on here. Oh, my game is completely hammer hammered. I'm not sure what's going on. Every time I turn my head, hmm, I think I just have way too much equipment, and that's probably my problem. There we go. When I look at that, okay, now it's loaded. It just had to load all the shaders. That was a little irritating. Um, where the heck are we? I have no freaking idea. I mean, we're on Sandy Bay, obviously. Hi, cows. <laughs> Uh, it's Friday. So Seth wanted to learn how to fly, and so I, he asked me to hook up my flight simulator controller to my computer so he could simulate flying. He wants to learn how to fly RC airplanes. Uh, I remember moving this stuff here. Boy, the graphics are getting really choppy. i got to figure out. Hang on. i got to make sure nothing else is running in the background. Hold on, folks. I'll be right back. Okay, so back in. Uh, it's It helped a little bit. I closed Vegas, but it's still choppy. I mean, the, this is going to become a growing problem with this farm because I've got so much equipment parked here. Uh, and then the farm already is slow because it's a mod map, and it's and starting to cause issues. Working. Anyway, I tried to get the simulator working for Seth, and I have a, I have an RC controller with a USB plug, and it used to work, but that was back like in Windows XP. That's like how long ago I, I learned how to fly. And so I'm thinking, oh, yeah, I'll be able to get it to work, no problem. Well, it turns out it doesn't work with Windows 10, so after two and a half hours, and a massive virus that was playing some stupid hip-hop song on my computer, I finally gave up and realized it wasn't going to work. <laughs> I found a thread that were like, oh, that doesn't work anymore. Oh, so it's, instead of me recording for the last three and a half hours, I've been getting a virus off my computer. And, so, and then after I got it all set up, I finally did get uh, a joystick working, and not the one that I wanted to work, but I got a joystick working, uh, which is Xbox controller. It's kind of hard to learn how to fly with an Xbox controller because it's spring-loaded, not like a real RC controller, and the sticks are also super small. Uh, but anyway, I got it set up. Seth started playing on it for like five minutes and then was like, okay, I'm going to play Smash Brothers now. I'm like, I just spent three and a half hours setting this up so that you could learn how to fly, and the mo you're going to spend five minutes and then walk away? Are you kidding me? You wasted my entire Friday night! <laughs> Now Seth feels like crap. I'm, it wasn't really his fault. I'm not mad at him or nothing. I just was... No, I'm not. I'm just a little put out. There's a difference. I don't really get mad about stuff like that. Now, what's funky is... Oh, there we go. Okay. No, what? Seth, you know that's not true. Seth, you know that's true. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I love you. Anyway, this computer's acting all wonky, too. Not me. I didn't do it this time, I swear. I did not. No, I didn't. Okay, so what are we doing here? I fed the cows. Okay, we needed to look here. This is why I was doing this. Alternate two, three, four, uh, five. Eh. Water fill level zero. Animals, chickens, no water. Let's see. What is the page up minus? The cows have 92% food. Um, 99% water. Starting to make some manure. Sheep owned at zero. Okay, we're going to work with that. Chickens, cows. Where's the pigs? Is that? That must be the next page. So hang on. Alternate statistics. Pigs. There we go. We got a hundred. Hundred pigs. They are feet. They're fed up all the way. They're watered up all the way. Zero productivity. But we just got into the game, so that should change. Gosh, what do we need to do now? Um, I think we need to advance time. Well, hang on. We need to check our... Could you stop, Evelyn? My goodness, stop. Um, I need to check out the crops. So we're going to drive down to our crop area. Yeah, I basically lost... I was going to start recording at 7. It is now almost 10 o'clock, and I'm just starting to record, which means that I'm only going to record this for an hour, <sighs> and then I probably will try to record some Farm Expert, though that series is almost over, so um, as it's dropped off in popularity, I'm going to drop the game off. This game continues to stay, of course. You should. Don't worry about it, Seth. Um, you should not feel like crap. 
let's see here. So we are going to... All right, Seth, drop it already. Jeez. Let it go. Um, what was I going to say? I don't remember. So it's been kind of a nutso day. I wanted to take today off. I was, my plan was I've been working for the last three weeks with no days off. I've pretty much been working nonstop, either traveling or working or videoing or editing. I mean, it's been nonstop. Or cleaning, like it's just there's. I've had no days off really where I just did nothing, and I'm like, I I'm just gonna take today off. So in the morning, then my friend called and said, Oh, I need you to return this equipment. So then I had to drive all the way over there and return the equipment, and then <laughs> and then I was like, I had lunch with a friend, which was fun, and then uh, my friend Joe, who I haven't really done lunch with for a long time, it's been probably a couple of years, and I was like, Dude, I'm sorry, we need to do this more often. Let's see, did that trigger the? Why is the soil mod? not showing up. No, it is. Okay, there we go. Okay, but it's not showing percentages. Interesting. I think the soil mod messes with my steam interface and that is causing a problem. We're going to have to put some herbicides down. The soil moisture is dropping a little bit. But we're going to wait about a couple minutes hopefully till the soil mod updates everything. But we will put some moisture out. Obviously, we're, I think we're going to do um, weed killer. I'm not sure what phase these are on. It's hard to tell. Yeah, there's weeds all over here. This has been a long growth period, man. It's been days that we've been growing this stuff. So we're going to kill the weeds. Oh, is that your alarm, Evelyn? You rock. Uh, okay, anyway. Um... I'm not sure why I just did that, but <laughs> okay. I guess this is how we're going to roll tonight. Uh, so tomorrow morning we're going to water. Control R. So we're going to let the day pass. It's now evening. It's 6.55 in the evening. It's 9 at night. <laughs> it's 10 at night in real life. Um, we're going to run the milk truck. And uh, I think our, our probably, hang on, if I remember, I think this will have stayed the same. I don't think we get new numbers until tomorrow. So the numbers look good. Um, tomorrow should be, I don't think tomorrow is the final phase, but it, we should have like one or two more days of crop growing. Uh, we should also have some grass. Okay, so while we're thinking about this, talking about grass and crops, and I've uh, been reading online about Farm Sim. 17 coming soon uh, less than a month now we are at today is september 30 something <laughs> hang on i'll tell you what date it is september 30th and um what that means is less than a month away we have farm sim 17 coming there's a lot of great changes out there uh jean luc and one other viewer i can't remember who there were two people that sent me the same link uh, it's a detailed page from the developers on the Giants website stating what the new things are that are going to be in the game. Some of the new changes. Um, lots of new ones that I was not aware of. Uh, first of all, we are going to be able to, uh, if you dump a truck in the middle of the field, the contents will actually dump onto the field. It's no longer going to just disappear or not be able to be dumped. Uh, you also won't lose, like if you dump a bucket out, like if you have a front loader and by mistake you tip the front loader and it dumps out on the ground, it's actually going to pile. Oh my gosh, this is so slow. It's actually going to pile on the ground. That's amazing. Yeah, this is killing it, man. My computer, this is a monster computer. It cannot handle these graphics. I have to look out over the field to continue. Wow, this is crazy. It's getting really choppy. I think we're going to have to break the farm up, guys. Not sure how this might be the end of the series. Nah, it won't be. People love this thing too much, um, which is funny because Thornton kind of just died. People don't really care. I haven't done Thornton for like a month and a half, and nobody has said a word. Like, hey, where's Thornton? Nobody cares about poor Thornton. Yeah, Thornton was the one I was doing with Chubba and you, but then the multiplayer stopped working, and that kind of killed the fun. So. Uh, so anyway, you're gonna be able to dump stuff out on the ground. That's really cool. You'll be able to obviously hand pick bales and stuff up if they're small enough um 
I'm trying to think of what else there was. There was a lot of stuff. Oh, um, as far as ground maintenance, you are going to have to plow pretty much continually. Like every third time you, you harvest, you're going to have to plow. Uh, you have to fertilize three times in order to get the full effect of the fertilizer. So three stages of fertilization. Um, what else are you going to have to do? Um, tractor maintenance, we talked about that a little bit. There's just a lot going on with the new farm simulator. It's going to be completely different. I mean, the game might look kind of the same, but the mechanics have been changed very much so underneath. And reading through like the 70 new changes that they've made, I was, very, I was getting very excited because it looks like it's going to be quite a uh, uh, farm sim going forward, and I'm excited about that. Um, at some point, we probably should go through the list. What am I doing? A milk truck. Yeah, it's totally the farm sim list. So that's singing Duran Duran. It's hollow notes. I'm just kidding. Little off music humor. So anyway, I'm totally burned out, uh, and I was really hoping just to spend the day enjoying myself and recording and instead I got to pretty much scramble and Mark's car broke so then I had to drive him to the mechanics to get it fixed but the nice thing is Ryan got his, got his drive past the driver's exam he is now a licensed driver so I made I made him go take Mark to get the oops I even though I took Mark to drop the car off I'm like when it was time for Mark to go get the car picked up I said why don't you take him and Ryan's like, wah, 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 can't do it. Wah, 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 wah. And so, but he did. But he did great. Now, a milk run happens again at midnight, too. <laughs> but this is fun. It gives us something to do in the evening. What's a milk run? Well, they run down to the station and, you know, deliver us milk. We're delivering. Well, I'm sorry, I probably just blew the video up because I pressed the wrong freaking button. I don't know what's going to happen there, but you might have missed out on the first 20 minutes of my talking, and I don't really feel like saying all the things I said again, so hold on. Weird, it didn't screw us up. It just, it's weird. I don't know. It, like, made a file that was dead, but only, like, a short little file. i got to figure out how to do this farm. Uh, we might need to move some of the harvesting equipment away from here. Um... Yeah, I mean, really, the only thing we did was add the RSM, but that, you know, the, the Roslamash, but we've got so much other stuff here. I think we have to store some of that equipment out in the fields. <laughs> you know, it's not good for it, but... I went the wrong way. Disaster's about to happen. Oh, come on. So realistic. <laughs> How truck drivers jerk their trucks around bushes. Go give me some ice water, Seth. Do it now. Do it now. You got to do it now. Oh, watch out. I need some water. Come on, soup. Where's that old buddy old pal of mine? What? Chubba's downstairs doing what? Chubba Lubba. She's my Chubba. She is the chubba, the chubba la la la. I'll be back. Okay, one thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna leave this milk truck. No, I'm not gonna do that because then I have to drive it back. But then again, I have to drive it back anyway. So really, it's a two-way trip no matter what I do. So I'm gonna par I'm gonna leave the milk truck parked down here at. at the milk facility. I don't know, Seth. Look, there's weeds growing on the road. Uh, we're going to move some of the harvesters and maybe some of the trucks away from the farm to kind of ease the load a little bit. Uh, I think I'm probably going to... I'm driving like a maniac. Chuck, could you give me a big ice water, honey? Why are you guys drinking warm root beer? Blech! Okay, for like a two hours, it needs to... Yeah, yeah, whatever. Drink what you want. It's weird, too. My frame rates used to be like 50, and I'm down to like 30. I think I might need to just restart my computer, because this is not... Things are not going the way that they need to be going right now. And I'm... 
The computer hasn't been restarted for a while, so I feel like something's running in the background that shouldn't be running. It's feeling really choppy, too. Usually this part. Well, now I'm at 60. Look right there. Ouch, Seth. Ow. Why did you do that, dude? Okay, well, I think you need to go to bed now. You can't be crabby. I don't want root beer. I want water. Ice wassa. All right, so I'm going to do this. And maybe it won't make a difference, but oops, no, that's not what I wanted. I wanted to unload the milk container. For millions of dollars, billions and billions of dollars. So anyway, nothing exciting happened today aside from me just running around in circles. Got a wedding tomorrow. Got a photo shoot on Sunday that needs to be processed and a wedding that needs to be picked. I'm tired. But I will say this. Aside from editing work, I think this is probably the last week of the craziness. Because um, now the, the weather's changing and the leaves are changing. And I think a lot of my corporate clients are going to... And the weddings will be over next next Saturday. I have a wedding this Saturday and a wedding next Saturday. And then I'm done. Hoo-rah. Hoodly doodly rah Done to, glad to be done. So, um, yeah, you just, I love the milk, though. Let's see. Hang on. Um, shift. Seth. Let's see here. Um, how much milk is in there? Oh, there's still 38,000 in the milk tank. That's a full trailer load, man. Well, we'll let that sell at midnight. But what we're going to do is we're going to park this truck down here. And I'm going to spread some things out, see if we can't get some better frame rates here. But I'm also going to reboot. I don't know that that's going to help at all, but it might. I mean, this is just running like crud. Jeepers, criminy. But I haven't rebooted in weeks. So the computer occasionally reboots itself, but that doesn't count. So anyway, let's go ahead and back in here. I think I'm just going to park it right here. Drive it into the bushes. Sweet. So this will be the truck stop, and we'll leave our truck parked down here. Let's go ahead and save. I'll be back. All right, that helped the frame rates go up a hair, but not much. I'm still at about 32 frames a second, but it's not chopping like it was, so that helped a bit. So the things that we're going to do, we're going to move items that don't need to be on the farm directly. So things that I don't use on the farm every day. So the tractor stays, but stuff like... Um, Stuff like my, uh, this guy. The whole Stop saying that, Mater. That's not appropriate. You are not stupid, and don't say stuff like that. Because you're not stupid. You're right, you're not stupid. So don't say you're stupid, because you're not. The windows are stupid? The windows can be stupid, that's fine. What am, what am I going to do with this stuff, though? That's what I don't know what to do. Like, I'm just kind of lost in where to put this stuff. Um, you're a smart little fellow. I suppose these could park down by the big field. Like, I could see putting these down by the big field. I could also see putting... Uh, that corn's looking good. We got oh, I haven't been checking on the corn really. We got to make sure that that gets watered and stuff. Did I even fertilize that? We need to check. I don't remember doing anything to this corn. Uh, no, it's there. It's got. It needs moisture though, so we'll do. We'll do kept PK tomorrow because the PK numbers are kind of low. I don't see any weeds going on over there either. So that's looking pretty good. But I'm thinking these guys like the the main. Like, this truck ain't going to hold silage, so if we move it away from the farm over to one of our fields, like this field here, or, whoa, that's right, I'm in England. <laughs> I forgot I want to. Nope, Y is not the one to press to change the steering. <laughs> Oops. Oh, yeah, it is. How did I do that?
Somehow, oh, jeez. Somehow I've screwed up the flexible steering. But I'm thinking, what I'm thinking is I could park the harvester here or maybe this guy in the man truck or just even out on the field, but just split it up a little bit so that the burden doesn't lie squarely on the farm being where all the stuff is located. Because this field, this big field that I have here, has lots of room around it to park stuff. Uh, so if we, if we distribute it out a little bit, that may help us. Um, so let's see, yeah, this field here. It's like what I'm thinking this guy, like right here. Look at it. This, there's this huge loading ramp here. So I'm thinking we could park a couple trucks here and then maybe have that. So this, like this will do this. Sucks to have the have the equipment outside, but we just have so much equipment that it's kind of necessary. I think already the farm is running smoother. I mean, just taking that one piece off, uh, we'll get more though. So I'm thinking, hey guys, gotta quiet down a little bit, please. Uh, what else can we do? This guy, we can move this. Move him down away from here. So we've moved our, we've gotten two things away. We've gotten our, um, the milk truck out of here, and we've gotten, now we're moving this guy out. John, you were so cute. You know, squeaky noises. Hey, when did you get that? They're coming to do our windows next week, I think. They're blasting out the whole house. My house is going to be completely under construction. They're doing like like 50 different things to my house next week, which is awesome. So we're just going to get this guy as far away from the farm as we possibly can, but yet still on our property. Interestingly, this grass has not grown yet that we seeded. Uh, maybe it did. You know, I think I did mow it once, maybe. Yeah, because I remember... No, maybe not. Well, we'll see what happens. Maybe I'm going to let it go. I want to see what happens if we let it go all the way down on soil mod. Supposedly the regular grass does not get affected by the soil mod. Uh, but if you plow a field and then plant the soil mod grass, then it does. Oh, yeah. So anyway, more things about the, the Farm Sim 17. They have nerfed the uh, production of the um, silage. So silage will no longer be, like I guess, unbalanced, you could call it. Um, so those of you silage lovers like myself that use it way more than we should, um, no more. They're, they're nerfing silage, basically. So that's hurting some of us probably, <laughs> like, inside my heart aches. And they said they tried better to balance out all the crops. Cause, so you know how, like, canola, wheat, and barley are always really close? Uh, they said that that's going to continue to be the case, but now all the crops are kind of like that. So you're, nothing is going to make you an extraordinary amount of money that's like OP. There will be no overpowered crops. Um, but what's interesting about that is that they said that um, the lumber they didn't mention. So I'm wondering if lumber still will be like overpowered. But uh, it is interesting to see that they are balancing silage. So for those of us that use it as a quick farm growth, no, it's <laughs> you're no longer going to be able to do it. Uh, so those of us going to be playing hard mode are going to be a long time with our equipment. But that's okay. I don't mind that. It'll be fun. It'll be a challenge. Um, hey, hold on one second, folks. Sorry, I had a little talk with my kids. They're fighting at, on the desk next to me. And so it's getting close to bedtime. So I'm like, hey, whoever's next can, can be a, a bedtime volunteer. Now, I love this truck. Once again, you saw how tight that corner was. Um... We're going to put these trailers down here. I probably will leave the silage trailers at the farm, and the next time when we go to do the corn, we'll move them off. But I think this is going to go out here, and then we're probably also going to put the harvester out here. So this will help alleviate our frame rates when we're at the farm because I'm just it's becoming such a huge issue. I can't even work around this farm. I'd rather Instead of ending the series, I'd rather just fix the problem, and I think this will fix it. Now we're still holding 30 frames a second everywhere we go, but that's okay. That's usable. 
it's not so exciting for video because you know 60 looks real nice but 30 is acceptable make it it looks like I, um, I think I hit that post but whatever all right so we're gonna park right here with this guy so here's the new storage quote-unquote shed I probably could place I don't have any placeable buildings though but I probably could get a couple placeables I used to have placeable buildings but I don't I got rid of them I think because they were goofy looking um, but I'll see if I can find some more placeable buildings <coughs> placeable buildings Oh, we can just do this. Okay, so what do we have left? We've got the, these three items. Where'd my Land Rover go? Or the Range Rover, Land Rover, whatever. That stays. Those are going to get out of here eventually. This will still be here, but we'll take it out. Um, but you can see here now, my frame rates are silky smooth. They're not, you know, I'm not getting the slowdown chop that I was. Even with the flashlight on, it's still pretty decent. It's not getting funky. Um, tractor's out. This guy, these guys probably should all stay up here. Um, all right. And we have the harvester. We're going to move that harvester out. I'm a bad, bad boy? I didn't say a swear word. What are you talking about? I said funky? Like, get funky. That's not really a swear word, Mater. Is what? No, it's not basically a swear word. <laughs> he said, is it basically a swear word? It's not a swear word. Funky means like funky monkey, like silly. Or goofy. Funky kind of means goofy, silly. Like get funky. Dude. Clap, 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 clap your hands. I hate that song. Oh my gosh. I hear all the horrible wedding songs every weekend. I'm so over weddings. I mean... Like I said, I probably still, for the rest of my life, will be doing the video weddings because I, I need some income from that. But uh, My friend Jared wants me to do them for him, and he's like, yeah, I could pay you like 400 a wedding. And I'm like, I mean, I don't have to do any editing. Mostly I just shoot and then hand him the video. But still, it's, it's kind of low for uh, losing my Saturdays. I don't know. We'll see how bad things get. <laughs> Uh, I might be going, please, Jared, please. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> so we have the big harvester. This thing is huge, man. This is definitely a main road, road only device. Uh, I will be buying the Ross Lamash. Um, I know I talked, somebody, Robert, was saying, hey, you can probably do better with the Ross Lamash. Uh, we're going to rent it, I think, unless I have enough money. Maybe by the time the crops are grown, I will have sold enough milk to purchase a Rosla Mash, because they're not too expensive, and we're probably over halfway there already. Um, the RSM, I think it's a 4502. I can't remember what the model number is for their forage harvester. But uh, we are going to buy a forage harvester with the pickup, and also or the 4-up, as they call it, and then also the corn header, because this corn is getting chaffed. That's what that's for. It's going to be making silage. We're going to be making silage, hay, we don't have we don't have I'm, yeah we don't have any straw so it's going to be making silage and straw. Um, the silage is going to go up here at this farm, and uh, the straw is going to go to both farms. Uh, I'm trying to think what else, but uh, we're, we're going to fill up at least one chaff bin, and then we're going to get a whole bunch of bales, and then whatever's left over, um, we're going to to um, sell at the biogas plant. But I'm not. I'm kind of over those days. Oop, I went to the wrong place. Shoot. Ah. I was busy talking. We can go this way, though. This will... Will this take us over there? No, this doesn't take us over there, so we need to go this way. So this is a nice harvester, though. I haven't really used these much in my game, so I'm glad to be able to purchase one of them. Now, obviously, I don't think it's prototypical to find a Russian harvester in the UK, but... You might find one here or the, here and there. Uh, like I said, I did see somebody the other day here in Ohio that had an MTZ tractor. <laughs> I was like, what? It was like the, the 81 or MTZ 
081 or I don't know. I, have to, I, I can't remember their model numbers. It was old. It was like a 70s tractor, maybe 60s even. Had the real small wheels on the front with the really big wheels, but it's, it's still a small tractor. And then like that, it, it was a covered cab. I think it's an MTZ80, if I'm not mistaken, like from the 1950s or 60s. But that was surprising to see that, so I thought that was pretty cool. Uh, mod list. I do not have one because I've got too many mods. Um, and this game's almost done with, to be honest with you. I mean, like I said, I know Dust Dustin, I know you want me to keep playing. <laughs> Dustin uh, Chataway is like, man, you should keep playing. And I'm like, well, I, I probably will continue to use this farm while I listen to Bible study. He's like, well, then just record the Bible study. <laughs> but my laptop, Dustin, and anybody else who wants me to do that, uh, I don't have enough horsepower on my laptop to be able to do that kind of stuff. So... Uh, the laptop can't record. I mean, the quality goes way down when I do that. So, um, you know, I don't think that's going to happen. Uh, and plus, you know, but maybe, I don't know. It'd be like Chuck Smith, Acts chapter 14, and Sandy Bay. Because I don't talk during that. I just listen. I'm listening to Bible study. So <laughs> I don't know if it would make very compelling video. But, oh, my gosh, this is really tight. I guess I have a little room on this side. But how am I going to? I guess I'm going to have to do this, though. But because I have to get back out to that field. But anyway, 